Murdoch University Cetacean Research Unit is developing a project to use unmanned aerial vehicles uh, to measure body condition and health in baleen whale populations. And it's a project that's funded by Murdoch University and we're using unmanned aerial vehicles or UAV or drones to measure body condition of humpback whales in Exmouth Gulf to look at the relationship between body condition and uh, reproduction. Humpback whales carry out the longest migration of any animals on Earth. In Western Australia, they migrate from their breeding grounds in the north down along the Western Australian coastline to the Antarctic region. Exmouth Gulf plays a particularly important habitat for these migrating whales in that it provides protection from the southerly winds. Relatively little is understood about the relationship between body condition and reproduction in, in baleen whales in general. And this project also uses non-invasive methods to assess body condition and health in baleen whales. And it's the first time we have used this approach for humpback whales on the west coast of Australia. Humpback whales around the world are recovering at a remarkable rate from the whaling era. The ones along the western coast of Australia are recovering at 10% per year, which is remarkable for a long-lived, slow-breeding animal. Under our research permit from the Department of Parks and Wildlife, we're permitted to measure 200 whales. From these pictures, we could then measure the length and width of the whale, which we then used to assess body condition. In particular, we were focusing on mother and calves, and we were particularly interested in the relationships between the female's body condition and the calf's growth and condition to both understand better the energy transfer between mother and calves, but also the trade-off that the female makes between her own energy investment and that into her offspring. This feasibility study was the first step as part of a larger project. It's really encouraging to see that it's working. If you look at humpback whales, for example, we now have looked at these animals in a, in a resting habitat. Equally important is to make the same measurements in a feeding habitat as in, in Antarctica, and that will allow us to, to look at body condition after they've been feeding for three, four, five months and where they haven't fed for three, four, five months. At this stage, we're processing the data. We're finding some really good results so far, which we hope to present very soon at the upcoming Australasian Wildlife Management. Really, really exciting to be part of this as we can learn much more about these animals in a non-invasive way. Methods to assess body condition and health in free-living whales is scarce at the moment. And this project is trying to develop these methods further so we can assess the health of population of baleen whales globally.